and when we're finally done, it'll look like diamonds. So I set my students out into the school with a pad and a pencil. And I said, I want you to interview kids. I want you to interview adults. Anybody that you see, the custodian, just go up to them and say, tell me what you know about Heart Mountain. After about a couple of hours, they came back and they said, Mrs. V, we found three people that knew anything legitimate about Heart Mountain. Many of the interns from Heart Mountain meet every year for a reunion in Las Vegas. Marianne wanted to take a group of kids there to record their histories and to also cast their hands in glass. I set my casting table up with my dental alginate and my plaster. From the corner of the room came a little man. He said, well, I'll do it if my wife and I can do it together. And I took the hands out and we flipped them over, and when we flipped them over, Mrs. Ito, Toshi Ito said, look, it is a heart. And we all started to cry, the three of us. With the glass hands, the ones that were cast in crystal, she said if you tap them with the tip of your fingernail, because they're crystal, they, they sort of ring, they have a sound to them. And because all hands are unique, each of these crystal hands have their own sound. They actually sound different. There's something that comes to life. You can see a common humanity. She has also been the person who's done a lot for introducing new media like her glass program. We fired it onto a onto the clear on a vase mold. I made this for my grandma uh, for Christmas. Uh, she played the viola for like 25 years. Whether she was in a classroom or whether she was out of a classroom, she was always teaching. This is a jingle dress dancer because I dance. The way she approached art, it gave them confidence to go on and try many other different things in their lives. My project is a portrait of uh, the famous Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. The greatest character she brings is passion. She's really an incredible artist and she's had amazing success with paintings that she's done, a whole jewelry line that she has. Her style is, is happy and sunny. She's such a happy person, a real joyous person as she teaches the children. I think she loves helping people develop into better people. She could reach troubled kids through art and she could inspire them to continue in school at very key crucial times in their life when they may be struggling. One of the young men that was um, participating in my Holocaust project um, he was one of the young men that was drawing swastikas all over the school. He was one of my impetuses for starting the Holocaust Project. About three quarters of the way through the project, out of the clear blue sky one day, he said, Mrs. V, I would have been put in a camp, wouldn't I have? It's because I have a learning disability, isn't it? And I said, that's correct. Because he came to realize that imperfect people were taken away. It takes everyone to bind together to make a good society. We can't eliminate one person and say that we're okay, because everyone has a value. Marianne Vinich, winner of a 2016 Governor's Arts Award.